right guys and thanks so much for watching in case you missed the announcement my vlogs have now moved in with james's vlogs over on bixby films youtube channel so that is where they're going to be so just want to make sure that you guys are are updated on that since this is my first video since we have combined our vlogs. So those are going on over there and it's really exciting. I really like how they've been going. It seems to make a lot more sense since we live together for us to put our vlogs together and that way it's not like half in one place and half somewhere else. So I really like how it's going and there's going to be a lot more stuff going on here. So this is just the very first of many videos and welcome to it. So this weekend I used one of my many clementine boxes to make a little jewelry container because I redid my dresser top, which I'll show you even though it has, it doesn't normally have this on it because that's to demonstrate for you guys. These are my um, vintage dresser set from my great aunt Jeannie. The mirror is broken, but, and I've got my perfumes. And my sunflowers, my sister and Christina brought me while I was sick, but now they're dying, so I probably need to get some new ones. This is a jewelry thing that I made. Because I have a jewelry box, I have a couple different things, but I needed something for the jewelry that I use the most often so that I'm not just leaving it laying around. And if you're like me, you guys probably have the same problem where it's like the stuff that you use all the time just kind of ends up just sprawling everywhere. So I thought, well, I always have these clementine boxes because I eat so many of them and I usually keep them for uh, closet storage or just all different things because um, they're so useful. I brought this extra one to show you guys how to make it and I'll just show you since it has some glasses in it. It's also the perfect size for storing sunglasses and sort of organizing it. So when you have your outfit, if you have a couple different pairs, you can just go right there and just grab it. So I like to have it for that use also. But you don't have to make it with a clementine box. You can use a basket or just get creative because I didn't go into it with the plan to make this. I just kind of needed to make something. So um, I'm gonna show you what necessity has mothered, which was invention. And now it's here. And you can also just use the ribbon as the earring holder. You can hang it on your wall or you can tie it to something and you can still make it really nice um, and simple so that you can keep all of your earrings organized. So here's my little collection. I've got them all dangling. And then my little phantom that I am admitting on YouTube that this did not always used to be a phantom, but I painted it myself with white nail polish because I was making a little phantom of the opera like diorama thing when I was in high school. So, um, and I also painted the blood on the tip of his knife and his whole outfit was used to be blue, which you can actually see because it's peeling off. But yeah, so he protects my jewelry. Everybody needs one of those. And I just put a nice scarf or you can use a little extra quilting square or whatever little scrap of fabric you have to line the bottom to coordinate with your dresser. And I've got a few things that I use in there and then my earrings. And I'm sure that all of you guys have lost an earring at least once in your life and then you have that other earring and you still love it but maybe it doesn't look that good if you wear it by itself. Some of them do, which <laughs> I do that a lot. But um, sometimes they just need their match and so um, I made a little section. I only have one right now. But you can make a little section in the back or on the side where you can keep all of your earrings that you're waiting to see if you find or that you just wear by themselves. And that way you can keep them all together. So here's my little lonely guy. Here, I just did my sunglasses so you can see if you have a lot more sunglasses that won't fit in the box. I wouldn't put it right there with the earrings obviously, but you can put it on the other side or something around there. So it's just good for organizing all of your things. And if you have a lot of cuff bracelets or anything like that. And then I also use this little tray for my little earrings that I take off that are small. So take your empty box and line it with your scarf. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just fold it however you want. You can cut your cloth to be the perfect fit, but I like to, it to be a little bit of a cushion. Make it a little more comfy and glamorous in there. So then basically just take any ribbon, which is nice because most people have some laying around or you can pick it up for really inexpensive at the store and you can get it to match whatever you want. And I just wrapped it, it's gonna be hard because I'm holding this myself. So I just wrapped it like that with 
using the clementine box, it's really, really easy because you can just wrap it around the outside. Um, if you have a basket or something else, just you just want to make sure it's tight because when you hang your earrings on it, it'll start to sag. So it's that easy. I just tied it. I didn't glue it, staple it, super glue, whatever. I just tied it, but you know, you just gotta be creative. And then keep it taut all the way across here. Do another loop to keep it tight. And then just keep going. All the way to there. So basically guys, that's all I did. And then I just tucked the um, ends. I just tucked them behind. You can, you can really get as creative with this as you want. I mean, you can use more than one color ribbon or you can braid it at the end or whatever, but um, it worked for me because it's just sitting behind there. So I just tucked the ends behind. And then once you have it tight all the way around, you can just start to hang your earrings. So the one tip that you gotta remember is because earrings, a lot of them aren't made out of silver or something like that. So the metal will color the ribbon. So I used a light colored ribbon just because I'd been wanting to use that one, but it's good if you use a black ribbon, you won't have this problem or a darkly colored one because um, the dirt won't show up. But if you do it on a light colored ribbon like I do, just try to put your earrings back through the same hole or close to the same hole so that you don't have a lot of pulls and things on your ribbon so that over time it'll just end up looking gross, which is actually okay because you can just untie it and put a fresh one. But um, yeah, so that's just a little tip. So that's it guys. I know that's not rocket science at all, but if you do give it a try, and especially if you get creative with any other little scraps or boxes that you have around your house, I'd love to see a picture if you tag me on Instagram or tweet it to me. So I hope you guys like this video. I just thought it was a really nifty little way to organize stuff that can actually make you insane. So um, that's that. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my nails. Here we go. Very happy with that. Gonna have some more nail tutorials and different stuff like that coming this way as well. It's not only gonna be girly stuff on Jesse and Luca, so I don't want everybody to start flipping out, don't worry. And there's also going to be more episodes of this old thing. So if you guys have been a fan of that since I used to do that uh, when I first started, it's gonna be coming back, lots of cool vintage stuff and actually visiting some really cool places. So I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I am having a great start to my week, being very productive and I can't wait to see more of you. So um, I will talk to you soon, bye.